What's going on guys? This is Burrs. I'm going to show you today the 2015 Men's Christmas Wish List. This is the best outdoor and tactical gear uh, gifts that you can get for uh, the dude in your life. And dudes, if you guys are watching this, make sure you give this, uh, send this video to your uh, wife, girlfriend, your mom, whoever's going to buy you gifts and you exchange gifts with this year. Make sure you send this over to them. So let's start out and talk about the first gift. This is around the $25 to $45 range, depending on which version you get. This is the Proctor Sling and the SOB Tactical B Sling. I just reviewed both of these. I love them. They're the only two slings I run currently. I uh, just did a review on both of them actually in the last uh, month or two. Um, like I said, $25 to $45, depending on which one you get. Uh, they make ones with HK uh, hooks. They make ones with paracord on the end. They have ones with QD mounts like the ones I uh, like the most. So there's a lot of different ones. Make sure whoever's buying you the gift knows which one you want and what colors you want. Uh, that's a great $25 to $45 gift. So let's talk about something that's tactical and outdoor. You can use it for both. That's a headlamp. Headlamps are extremely important. You know, you, you got a lot of situations where you want to use uh, both your hands or something. You want to have a hands-free kind of thing. Um, this is the Princeton Tech Remix Pro, and they also make an MPLS version, uh, which has a uh, red light, which is great for nighttime so you don't lose your uh, nighttime vision. Um, you know, 100 to 125 lumens, and the cost, depending on which one you get, uh, if you get the Remix Pro, it's around 50. If you get the MPLS version, uh, you're looking at around $75. Uh, made in the USA, which is incredible for an electronic. Uh, they come with a bunch of different accessories. You get the headband, um, you know, they move, so you can kind of you know, put this whichever way you want to point. CR123 batteries. Um, and like I said, assembled in the USA, which is incredible for an electronic device. So if you're looking for a great headlamp or a flashlight, someone's been complaining about uh, whatever crappy flashlight they have, or if they're looking for something hands-free, Princeton Tech Remix Pro or MPLS. Now, as far as the outdoors go, you know, when you go outdoors, you go on multi-day trips, you want to cut some wood, uh, particularly if you're in the fall time, spring time, winter time. Uh, and the best thing I've found, and the lightest weight thing I've found, is this Bob Destrudy's saw. I found this on Four Dogs, uh, I think it's fourdogsstove.com. I'll put the links to all of this stuff down below. And uh, this is a 24 inch version. They also make a 20 and a 30 inch version. Super lightweight, um, and it cuts through um, wood like butter. <laughs> and uh, like you can see here, it packs up relatively small, throw it on the side of your pack, you're ready to go. This is around the $50 range, and it's gonna last you a really long time. You can buy uh, replacement saw blades, but uh, as you can see here, doesn't make any noise or anything like that. Um, so if you're looking for a kick-ass American-made um, saw that you need for your backpacking adventures or you want to get this for your dude, go ahead and check out the Bob Destrudy saw. Now it is getting to the uh, winter season and when, with winter comes more darkness. So if your guy's in a tactical stuff and he's looking for a great holster for his uh, gun, the NCOG shadow holster is uh, something I definitely recommend. I've reviewed the NCOG, the regular NCOG uh, holster in the past. It's my favorite inside the waistband holster. So if you're looking for someone who does concealed carry, this is definitely something I would look at. This is around the $70 mark. Uh, this one is for an APL light with a Glock 19. Uh, they make different ones as well. Uh, but you really can't go wrong. It has a suede feel to it, so it's comfortable when you're wearing it. Um, everything fits like a glove. It's exceptional. I haven't found any better inside the waistband holster. So if you're looking for someone who has uh, inside the waistband concealed carry permit, uh, what have you, this is definitely something I would take a look at. So around the same price for the holster and the $65 mark, I'm gonna recommend some bison fur gloves. These are ones I've reviewed in the past. They are made by Gold Fibers, uh, the USA made. And if it's good enough for a bison, uh, which as you can see, they use a lot of uh, their fur to uh, get the uh, snow and everything off of them and keep them warm, you know, it's good enough for me. And throughout the last year where I've used these, I've really come to enjoy them. They're my go-to. Uh, they keep, keep you super warm. I would recommend the ones that aren't fingerless if you're just gonna get one pair. Uh, because once again, once it gets into deep winter, you're definitely gonna want the ones that have the uh, ends of the finger on there. And if he wants to you know, cut like a trigger finger or something in there, you can do that. You can alter them. But um, these things are badass. They're the best gloves I've ever come across. Another great outdoor item to purchase, and it's a little, it's around the $100 range, is this Platypus Gravity Water Filter System. You might think $100 for a gravity water filter is expensive, or maybe $100 for a water filter in general is expensive. But you know, this thing really puts um, a lot of the other ones to shame. Uh, the cool thing about Platypus and MSR, who are uh, the same uh, company as far as uh, the parent company, you know what they do with their water filtration, which really impresses me, is they test it on end of life. So they don't just test it at 
when it's a fresh water filter. They also test it when it's at its end of life. So um, they make sure that even when it's used up all the way, that's gonna work for you. And the thing I like about this platypus is, it has a clear thing that says dirty, so you throw all the dirty water in there. You connect up this, and on the end here, which is rather unique, it has this little, um, uh, thing here where you pop it open, you put it shut, so you can kind of use it like a like a spigot. Um, and then it also comes with this clean filter that you can uh, pour into if you want. Normally I don't carry this with, I'll carry something else like a metal water container which I'll pour everything into, but you know it makes for a great little reservoir if that's what you're looking for. And for $100 you can't really beat this platypus system. Um, I've used it for a little while now, really been impressed with it. My buddy Nate Murr, um, he has one as well. I actually got him one because uh, he liked mine so much. And uh, I really like it. So for around 100 bucks, you can get a kick-ass water filter system. Gravity water fil filter systems, in my opinion, are some of the best because they're the easiest to use. This thing flows really fast. So if you're looking for a water filter, you want something, heard someone say that they want a water filter or it's something they're looking at, the Platypus Gravity Water Filter System is definitely the way I would go. So now let's talk about a big ticket item for tactical or someone who's into shooting. And that is the SWFA Super Sniper Scope. This is a three by nine version. They make different versions. If you're looking to get something on a big ticket item, you want something for hunting, you want something for target shooting, uh, something's gonna work well and um, not break the bank in terms of scopes as we all know super exceptional scopes can run you thousands of dollars. This scope is around $599, $590, somewhere around there. I've used this thing for a year, tested it, reviewed it, uh, thrown it in the freezer, put it in water. Um, it's never let me down. And if someone's looking for a great scope that's um, gonna be exceptional with the glass quality, it's gonna be exceptional with um, you know repeatability of hits and not let them down. This front focal plane Super Sniper 3x9 or whatever version they're looking at uh, by SWFA is definitely the way to go. How about a big ticket item for the outdoor kind of person? Someone who likes backpacking, going outdoors and camping. This Nemo tent, which I actually just reviewed recently, this is their Galaxy 2P, which means two person tent. This thing is really great. For $250, you get a lot of tent. You also get the in, uh, included footprint, which is like a tarp that's mat that matches the floor plan. Usually you have to spend extra for them, but if you buy this, it's all in one package, which is great for a gift. You don't have to buy multiple things. Uh, it works relatively well. If they're into natural colors, this comes in a earth brown color, which is kick-ass for people who like tactical stuff and they just don't like bright colors. But they also sell when it's kind of like, uh, I think it's like a moss green or something like that. You know, this is one I've enjoyed over like the last eight months. Uh, it comes with the poles, everything's included. So you go to REI, purchase this. Um, like I said, 250 bucks and you got a kick-ass outdoor big ticket item for a gift. So what's left? Stocking stuffers is left. So what do we got here? What do I got here? You know, some easy stuff that you can buy that definitely people who go outdoors and do outdoor stuff would appreciate. Toe warmers, hand warmers, you know, these are like 25 cents for a pack or maybe 50 cents for a pack. Uh, they make great stocking stuffers. As far as going outdoors and stuff, stuff like this Endurance Gel by Vega Sport. Uh, this is like a eat clean, all natural kind of uh, energy gel. I use these when I'm backpacking. So every like half hour, 45 minutes to an hour, um, I'll you know eat one of these, it'll give me a bunch of energy and uh, continue on. If you're more into like meat, you like jerky and stuff like that, um, these Epic Bars are definitely cool. This one's their bison, which I guess there's a theme here. I like stuff related to bison. They got pork, they got chicken, turkey, you know, whatever you're looking for, they got different flavors. Um, this is the bison and cranberry and bacon, which might sound weird, but it's amazingly tasty. This is a pulled pork and pineapple. They also have just a regular pork, uh, or they have a regular bacon one, which I like. Um, you know, they also make beef jerky. I can recommend Nick Sticks. I've reviewed that in the past. Uh, it's another great stocking stuffer. And if you're looking to move up a little bit on the scale, you want to go more tactical. You, know, you can never go wrong with a boar snake. I actually have a few of them. Here's two of them. Uh, these are the Viper version, but you can get just the regular version. And um, these make for cleaning your boar super easy, super simple. You put some cleaner on here, some carbon uh, cleaner. Put a little bit of lube. You pull this through the, uh, the barrel and it's clean. I mean, it literally takes like a minute to clean your barrel. So this is around, I think, the $18 mark. So if you're looking for another great stocking stuffer that's, um, you know, it's around the $20 mark, um, this will fit right in there. And that'd be a cool gift for anyone who's into tactical stuff or shooting, hunting, etc. So hopefully guys, that helps out the person in your life who's looking to buy you gifts for uh, Christmas this year. Putting this out around the end of November, so they should have a good 
uh, about a month for three weeks to uh, to get those purchased and stuff and hopefully this has helped you out with maybe some ideas to tell people uh, to get you if you're into some of this stuff uh, if you guys have any questions or anything go ahead and let me know if you guys some co have some cool gifts you think uh, people would like to have go ahead and put it in the comments down below so we can all see it or uh, make a video about it until next time later